Ooh, it's raining. I'm coming to join fabrics because I need to pick up a zipper. So I thought I'd bring you all with me while I grab this zipper. So I'm getting a zipper because I want to make a track jacket. Is that what it's called? Like a tracksuit jacket. And it's one of the Friday Pattern Company jackets. So I just made a quick stop while we were out doing other things. So I'm gonna run in here while my husband's waiting outside for me in the car. So I'm gonna make this really quick. So I'm not gonna even look at any fabric or anything. I'm just gonna grab this zipper and keep it moving. And it needs to be a separating zipper. Where are they? Is this the separating? Nope, nope, nope. Separating, okay. But I need it to be 22 inches. And oh yeah, here's one. And the fabric is kind of like a navy blue. Is this separating? Yeah, it is separating. Okay, navy blue, 22 inches. All right, this works for me. All right. So here's a quick look at the fabric that I'm not gonna spend time looking at but i'll let you guys get a little peek oh look at this oh my goodness look i like stuff like this oh my goodness okay i'm gonna have to come back all right so i'm going to check out and see you guys a little bit later oh look at the fabric Okay. I am at this restaurant. We found one restaurant that lets you dine in and no one else is here. It is like empty. They have all the doors open and when I first walked in, the guy sat me down and there was a bird flying around and I'm like, oh my goodness, now you gotta get that bird out of here. So anyway, the bird flew out. But yes, so the track jacket that I wanna make, I think it's called Arlo. I will put it on the screen, but it's a cute little jacket. So I am going to get started on that. And I'll show you the fabric. I picked the fabric up from Joanne Fabrics also, and I bought it on clearance. And it was only like $3 a yard. So I actually picked up about four yards because I want to see what else I can make out of it. It's a nice knit, and it doesn't have a lot of four-way stretch, which just stretches, you know, from left to right. So I think it will be perfect for the track jacket. So I'm so glad I'm done eating. Keep running into the window, poor little birdie. Oh my gosh. share with you a little bit about the pattern it comes in this cute little booklet this is a unisex pattern by the way too which I think is pretty cool so here's the fabric so it's kind of black and blue and let me show you the stretch on it, it stretches horizontally but not so much 
on the cross grain. It doesn't really stretch at all that way. And the back side is like a fleece. It's softer than the front or the right side. So I am about to get started. I cut out and labeled all of my pieces. I love this part of the process when it's time to just go to the machine and sew things up. That's where I am. So I'm moving right along. I just put in one of the sleeves. I have a pocket on. And what I wanted to show is that there is top stitching all throughout the garment, which I really like. I think that's going to give it a really nice look. So I've been putting the top stitching in. And then I wanted to show you how well the zipper matched. I think that's going to be really really nice scratch what I showed you before because I messed up I had to unpick all of the stitching pretty much that I was sharing with you because when it became time to sew the sleeves together things weren't matching up and it turns out that I did not have the right pocket attached to the correct upper front piece so this piece here was attached to this armhole opening. So I had them backwards. I had to, like I said, undo pretty much everything. So after I took everything that I had done almost, which was basically the sleeves, and I had attached the back and all of that stuff, well, after I um, picked everything, I was like, I'm going to bed and I will just start over in the morning. So here I am. I feel refreshed and renewed and ready to start over. So anyway, I'm picking up where I left off. OK, so this is much better. Everything lined up the way it was supposed to. And I have the collar on. The sleeves are on. Let me see how it looks in the back. This is the back. I noticed this line here. And it's also here. And then it's in the front too. And that makes me think that, I don't know, maybe that's why this was on clearance. I don't know. It was significantly reduced in the store. And I wonder if that's the reason why. Well, Regardless, I'm going to wear it anyway, and I'm going to keep moving on. These are the pockets. Yeah, so it's much, much better now. So I finally got my jacket all finished. I must say that I did make another mistake, which I will share with you in a minute. I really like the jacket. I really love the way that it turned out. I do wish that the sleeves were a little bit longer. I think they're kind of falling high on me. So if I make this again, I will lengthen the sleeves. And the other thing is that I really love the little line detail in the back. I think that is so, so cute. I want to mention the mistake that I made. So the zipper was a little bit too long at the very, very top. And the direction said that you should fold over the excess and then sew it down well i thought why not just shorten the zipper so i made the little lines to shorten the zipper and i installed the zipper and then when i got ready to zip it up the zipper pull pulled right off so i had the zipper pull in this hand and the zipper over here i was like oh no so i didn't have another zipper and I had to make the best of it. So what I ended up doing was taking the little metal stops at the very top of the zipper. I pulled them out with some tweezers and what else? Oh, I used a seam ripper to try to lift up the little legs. They're like little hooks. So I pulled and pulled until I got a little metal stopper off. And then I was able to have my husband's help to clamp those little stops 
back onto the top of the zipper because I just did not want to have to take the zipper out and start all over. So I learned because I thought I could just shorten the zipper, no problem, but no, that did not work. So before I go, I wanna leave you with a love share. If you are ever shopping at Costco and you notice an asterisk on a price tag, that means that particular item will not be restocked and you may never see it sold at Costco again. So if it is a great price and maybe it's your favorite product, you may want to stock up.